Hello and welcome to the viewers of this video. This is the Orange Fan here bringing you another entry for the episode Recap and Thoughts category. This video will be dedicated to the Funimation dub of episode 70 of Dragon Ball Super. We begin this episode at Beerus's planet, where Beerus and Whis have received a hollow call from Champa and Vados. Champa suggests to his twin brother that they have a baseball game between Universe 6 and Universe 7 as a way to grow goodwill between the two universes. Champa adds that Vados mentioned that sports are a great way to encourage such growth. Weiss is on board with the idea. He thinks that uh, a baseball game to encourage goodwill between the universes is a great idea. So Beerus questions Champa about where the location of the baseball game will be. Champa thinks that it's only fair that the, uh, that the baseball game uh, be located in Universe 7 because Champa believes that it's only fair that the Universe 6 team travel to Universe 7 because Champa, the, de the destroyer of Universe 6, is the one who suggested the idea in the first place. And Champa also suggests that uh, the planet in Universe 7 be Earth. So Beerus agrees to go along with um, this baseball game. After the hollow call ends, we see that Champa and Vados are actually in a hexahedron. They're already on their way to Universe uh, 7. And Champa admits to Vados that uh, his intentions for suggesting the baseball game is because he wants, he's just looking for an excuse to have some of the food from Universe 7. Because Champa figures that after the baseball game is complete, there will be a great feast, regardless of who the winner of the baseball game is. So Champa figures it doesn't matter who wins the baseball game, he still gets what he wants, which is the food from Universe 7, which he finds especially tasty after he and Vados had tasted it all the way back in the uh, Champa saga, the start of the Champa saga. Vados, however, does manage to trick Champa into actually participating in the baseball game itself, saying that uh, exercising by playing the baseball game will make the Universe 7 food that much more delicious. Or yeah, that Earth's, Universe 7's Earth food will be even more delicious after getting some exercise in, and the trick works. Champa is now on board with actually participating in the baseball game. So the so yes, the Universe 6 team has arrived and a location on Earth has been decided. They actually were able to find a baseball field to use for the game. So Beerus is going to be the yeah, Beerus says he'll act as the manager of the Universe 7 team. So that means Beerus is not going to actually participate uh, during the baseball game. So we also see that Yamcha is the Universe 7 team's captain due to the fact that Yamcha is a professional baseball player. So the other team members besides Beerus and Yamcha are... Goku, Trunks, Gohan, Piccolo, and Krillin. Now, as for the Universe 6 team, we see that Vegeta and Goten are actually uh, participating on the Universe 6 team. This is because they needed to give both teams an equal amount of players. So besides Vegeta and Goten, the Universe 6 team consists of Champa himself, uh, Kaba, Botamo, and Otto Magetta. Um, Goku questions where Hit is, and Champa comments that Hit is very hard to get a hold of due to the fact that Hit is a covert operative. And 
Frost isn't there either, but considering the fact that Frost was exposed to be a criminal during the events of the Tournament of Destroyers, it's pretty easy to figure out why Frost is not present. So, oh that's right, Whis and Vados are also, yeah, Whis and Vados are acting as the co-referees for the baseball game. They've read up on the rules of baseball, they both have, um, uh, guidebooks or handbooks uh, with the rules to, on hand in case they need to make the necessary calls. And they also stress a major rule of no acts of destruction because this is supposed to be a fun, lighthearted baseball game to encourage goodwill between Universe 6 and Universe 7. So after the rules have been set, we now begin the baseball game. Uh, Universe 7's team are going to be the pitchers, or they're going to start in the pitcher position, while the, yeah, Universe 7's team are in the pitcher position, and Universe 6's team are in the batter position now. So Goku is, is the actual pitcher right now, while Champa is up to bat right now, and... Champa does manage to get struck out, although the first two times when Goku tries to throw the ball, he's having difficulty with figuring out how hard to throw the ball because the first time he throws the ball, he overdoes it. And because they want to avoid acts of destruction, Goku throws the ball gently the second time around, but he does it so yeah, he throws the ball so gently that it's moving at a ridiculously slow pace. So the third time, though, Goku actually does manage to throw a reasonable... Yeah, he throws the ball at a reasonable uh, speed. And Champa does manage to hit the ball, but Trunks is able to um, catch the ball. He uses an energy blast... Uh, to stop the ball from becoming a home run, and he's able to catch it. And Whis and Vados notice that the handbook or the guidelines don't mention anything about using energy, so a loophole, I guess you could call it. So with Champa struck out, um, Botamo is the next one up to bat, and Yamcha says he'll be the pitcher now instead of Goku. And we do see Yamcha's baseball skills in action. He actually, or yeah, because of the somewhat different rules of this baseball game, Yamcha uses a combination of the wolf fane fist and the spirit ball attack to uh, throw his pitches. And they're actually really good pitches. Uh, Yamcha is able to strike out not just Botamo, but also, yeah, but also Kaba as well. So now the teams have switched positions now. So Universe 7's team are up to bat now, and Universe 6's team have now taken the pitcher position. So Vegeta is the pitcher for Universe 6's team right now, and Yamcha is the first of the Universe 7 team that's up to bat. Vegeta, however, actually hits Yamcha with the ball, figuring that the whole point of winning the game is to beat each of the opponents. But Whis and Vados have to clarify that, no, you're not supposed to actually hit your opponents in baseball, much to Goku and Vegeta's uh, uh, baffled uh, reactions. So Whis warns Vegeta not to hit any more opponents or else he'll be out of the game. So Yamcha actually gets a walk, so Yamcha's now at first base. And this begins um, the trend for the, yeah, there's now a trend where Yamcha progressively makes it to each, yeah, he makes it to second base and uh, third base um, despite uh, being hit with, um, or yeah, there's um, the Universe 6 team caused some kind of complications which lead to Whis and Vados ruling that Yamcha is safe when he reaches the other bases. So after Yamcha goes to bat, Goku is next up to bat, and Goku and Vegeta get into a... Yeah, the, the pitching and the batting gets into a big battle with the Super Saiyan Blue power-up from both Saiyans. And... But yeah, then, and that's why Yamcha actually... 
Yeah, because the Super Saiyan Blues are distracted with each other, Yamcha takes that chance to get to second base. And um, because Champa was obstructing the runner, that's why Yamcha is uh, safe when he reaches second base. And then for third base, um, Gohan is the one who's up to bat. And, and yeah, Yamcha makes it to third base, and Champa throws the ball at uh, Yamcha when he gets to third base, but Whis and Vados rule that Yamcha is safe when he gets to third base because Champa threw the ball at, uh, at him rather than holding the ball in his hand or glove while tagging Yamcha. So, because, yeah, uh, a player has to hold the ball and tag another player in order for the other player to be out. They can't throw the ball or else, yeah, throwing the ball doesn't count as an out. So Yamcha is safe at third base as well. But Champa is still confident that Yamcha won't make it to home base, and Champa insults Beerus while he's taunting Yamcha. Beerus takes offense at this, and this leads to Beerus and Champa arguing with each other, which starts up a, a strong, yes, a very powerful storm is beginning to happen around the baseball field when Beerus and Champa start to argue. The other players, or at least most of the other players, are running towards um, a force field that Whis and Vados have created uh, to protect everyone. And yes, because uh, it was mentioned back in the Champa saga, multiple destroyers cannot fight each other because if multiple fighters, or yeah, if multiple destroyers fight each other, that means that the universe that they're currently in will be... Uh, destroyed if uh, if they fight so yeah they're beginning to fight Beerus and Champa so Whis and Vados have to step in and stop the fight from escalating any further thus saving universe 7 and Whis and Vados both declare that the game is over because um, because the rule about no acts of destruction kept being broke yeah the rules for no acts of destruction was broken constantly throughout the course of the baseball game. So the game is over now. But it's not a tie. Universe 7's team won the game. And we see that during... Yeah, we see that Yamcha actually made it to home base during Beerus and Champa's brief fight. However, Yamcha is currently in the same pose that he's in when he was when he met his end at the hands of one of the Cybermen back in the Saiyan Saga, and Krillin and Piccolo both acknowledge that the pose matches the pose from Dragon Ball Z's Saiyan Saga. So, yeah, Yamcha was still able to uh, win the game for Universe 7. And then next up, we see um, the Universe 6 uh, players are heading back to Universe 6 in the Hexahedron, and in the hexahedron, we see Champa is uh, encouraging Kaba, Botamo, and Otto Magetta to uh, practice uh, some more baseball, uh, hoping to have a rematch someday later on. And Vados thinks to herself that Champa is now concentrating on the baseball game and no longer concentrating on the food, his whole motivation for setting up the baseball game in the first place. And that's how we end the episode. So this episode, I've noticed a lot of fans regard this episode as one of the funniest episodes in Dragon Ball Super. I've even seen some fans uh, regard it as the funniest episode in the entire franchise, rivaling uh, the driver's education episode from Dragon Ball Z. Because, yeah, yeah, the driver's education episode was... A filler episode that happened uh, during the three years of training before the androids arrived. So during the android saga, naturally. And speaking of filler, um, Yamcha's status as a professional baseball player was something that wasn't in the manga, and it wasn't in um, it wasn't in Dragon Ball Z Kai either. It was it was presented in filler scenes from. Uh, the regular Dragon Ball Z anime. Having said that, though, 
the idea of Yamcha being a professional baseball player was actually a suggestion that Akira Toriyama himself had made. So yeah, that's a pretty cool little detail that they uh, brought back. Um, a detail that was exclusive in the anime, but an idea from the franchise's creator as well. And this leads to one of the highlights of this episode for many. Yamcha actually gets to play a significant role in the episode because, yeah, Yamcha seems to be regarded as the chew toy uh, or the punching bag of the Z fighters. It's like Yamcha seems to be the Z fighter who's the butt of everyone's jokes all the time, or he kind of gets regarded as kind of not being... Um, or yeah, Yamcha pretty much tends to draw the short stick a lot. Like there, I've noticed some fans like to make jokes about how, oh, Yamcha's not important. It's Yamcha. Who cares? No one likes Yamcha. But in all seriousness, Yamcha does have his fans. And I know that some of Yamcha's fans uh, don't really like some of the mean-spirited jabs towards Yamcha. So yeah, this episode got to show Yamcha in his element as a baseball player. And regarding the ending where they referenced uh, Yamcha's death pose from the Saiyan saga, yeah, that has become a rather popular meme around the internet from what I've observed. So yeah, they kind of are referencing that. Yeah, you could say it's well, yeah, it's a reference to earlier in the franchise's history, Dragon Ball Z Saiyan Saga, but some people also see it as an ascended meme about uh, how popular Yamcha's death pose has become. And yeah, I've seen some debate about the reference to Yamcha's death pose. Like some people thought it was hilarious. Some people thought it was a little too mean-spirited. Um, I guess it's going to vary from viewer to viewer. But ultimately, it does seem like a lot of people appreciated how Yamcha got his chance to shine in, um, in this episode. And yeah, I thought this was a pretty funny episode. It was nice to see some of the Universe 6 characters again. And yeah, I understand Frost not being there. And I do understand why Hit was probably wasn't there either. But at the same time, I have to admit, it would have been hilarious if Hit was present if only because I could see Hit being taking part in a baseball game as an example of the comically serious. I think there could have been some great potential for that. But at the same time, I do understand why, uh, why uh, Hit was not present for this baseball game. And it won't be too bad. We actually will get to hit, see Hit again sooner than you might think for those who are dub-only viewers. So overall, yeah, I really did enjoy this episode. I thought it was a really hilarious episode and a very, uh, very lighthearted comedy. And like I said, yeah, I put it up there with the driver's education episode from Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if I'd say one's better than the other necessarily, but yeah, they're both up there as far as uh, uh, comedy episodes. I might rewatch this episode as well as the driver's education episode a couple of times in the future if I ever want a good laugh. <laughs> so we're still continuing with the breather episodes um, after the intensity of the Zamasu saga, but, um, but we're going to get six more breather episodes now. But these remaining breather episodes coming up, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be divided into three two-parters. And Although they're still considered breather episodes, they aren't going to be, um, they're, are, they're not quite on the uh, comical side as the three episodes we've had so far, the three breather episodes we've had so far were more on the comical side. I think um, from what I understand, the three two-parters that are coming up are going to be a little more action-oriented, even if they are considered breather episodes. So... That's something to keep in mind and look forward to. But otherwise, yeah, there we go for now. So as of this video, we've now discussed the 70th episode of Dragon Ball Super as dubbed by Funimation on this channel. Take care and until next time.